In the previous video, we learned how to perform classic ANOVA and Welch ANOVA in our studio. In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform Cruz Calwalis test in our studio using the decision rule presented in the previous video. For this example, we will use the performance dataset in our studio. In this case, we will use the T2 and stress variables. Suppose you want to test if there is a significant difference in the performance of employees on the second month when exposed to different levels of stress, low, moderate, and high, at 0.05 significance level. To view the data, we type view, open parentheses, performance. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Now, we will select the test that we will use for this dataset. First, we must check if there exists one outlier in our dataset when grouped according to the stress variable. We type box plot, open parentheses, t2 tilde stress, comma, performance. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the plots window, we see the result. It appears there is one outlier in the low stress group. Hence, we will use the Cruz Calwalis test for this dataset. Next, we will formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in the median performance of the respondents on the second month when grouped according to stress exposure. Whereas, the alternative hypothesis is at least one group's median is significantly different from the other. To perform Kruskal-Wallis test in our studio, we type Kruskal the test open parentheses t2 tilde sign stress comma performance. The Kruskal test function allows us to perform a Kruskal-Wallis test in our studio. T2 tilde stress argument indicates that we need to group T2 variable using the stress variable, whereas the performance argument indicates where these data are stored. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, you will see the result. The Kruskal-Wallis chi-squared which is equal to 9.6357 is the test statistic. DF which is equal to 2 is the degrees of freedom, whereas the p-value which is equal to 0 0.008084 is the probability that you will get your data assuming that the null hypothesis is true. Based on the result, since the p-value is less than 0 0.05 which is our significance level, we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. That is, we have sufficient evidence to say that at least one group is significantly different from the other. Similar to the previous example, we need to perform a post hoc analysis to identify which among the group is significantly different from the other. We will discuss this in the next video. For our last example, we will use the business dataset which can be downloaded on the description below. Once you're done downloading the file, we type data1, read.csv, open parentheses, file.choose, open parentheses, forward, comma, header, equals true. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Look for the file and double click it. In my case, it's here. In the environment or history window, you can see the data set. For this demonstration, we will use the educational attainment and opportunity evaluation variables. 
Suppose you want to test if there is significant difference in the opportunity evaluation score when grouped according to educational attainment at 0.05 significance level. Now, we will select the test that we will use for this dataset. First, we must check if there exists at least one outlier in our dataset when grouped according to educational attainment. We can do that by typing box plot, open parentheses, opportunity evaluation, tilde educational attainment. Comma, data 1. Check the spelling, capitalization, and the way I wrote the code. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the plots window, we see the result. It appears that there are no outliers in the dataset. Now, we use the script that checks if the data is normally distributed when grouped according to educational attainment. Since we ran the script earlier on the previous video, we may proceed typing the function. If you were not, kindly open the script. We type normality2. Open parentheses. Data1. Dollar sign. Opportunity evaluation. Comma. Data1. Dollar sign, educational attainment, comma, data 1. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Based on the result, we have to use Kruskal Wallis test. Next, we formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that there is no significant difference in the opportunity evaluation score of the respondents when grouped according to educational attainment, whereas the alternative hypothesis is at least one group's median is significantly different from the other. Then we perform kruskal wallis test by typing kruskal.test, open parentheses, opportunity evaluation, tilde educational attainment comma data 1 The kruskal.test function allows us to perform a kruskal wallis test in our studio opportunity that evaluation tilde educational that attainment argument indicates that we need to group opportunity evaluation variable using the educational attainment variable, whereas the data1 argument indicates where these data are stored. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, you will see the result. The Kruskal Wallis chi-squared, which is equal to 2.2829, is the test statistic. DF, which is equal to 2, is the degrees of freedom. Whereas the p-value, which is equal to 0 0.3194, is the probability that you will get your data, assuming that the null hypothesis is true. Since the p-value is greater than the significance level, which was set to 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the opportunity evaluation score of the respondents when grouped according to educational attainment may be equal. In this case, we do not need to perform a post hoc test because we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We can further investigate this by computing the median score of each group. We type library, open parentheses, deplier, enter, data1, percent greater than percent sign, Enter group underscore by open parentheses 
educational attainment, forward percent greater than percent sign, enter the player, double colon, summarize, open parentheses, median, equal sign median, Open parentheses, opportunity evaluation, forward comma IQR, equal sign IQR, open parentheses, opportunity evaluation. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, you will see the result. Looking at the values, the difference in the median score for each group is relatively small, accounting their respective interquartile range. While in practice, there are other ways to identify which of the three tests should you use for your analysis. The procedure presented here is a good start for you to practice your data analysis skill. However, I do not suggest you performing initial analysis such as shapiro wilk test or Bartlett's test to test if your data passes the assumption of a parametric procedure. To know more about the dangers of performing initial analysis, I attach several research papers for you to read. That ends our video and I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.